The ending of a movie is one of the most important parts of the entire project. As the old saying goes, it's how you leave them, and a bad ending has too often been the reason behind an audience souring on an otherwise good film. The following ten endings aren't all bad, however, when you look at the alternative finales that were suggested, or even filmed for them, you'd be forgiven for thinking you'd been a little bit shortchanged. Spoiler warnings are in full effect, of course, because I'm Cy for WhatCulture.com, and these are ten movies that had much better endings they didn't use. Number 10. Clarence Dies. True Romance. A mafia crime movie with a smidge of romantic comedy thrown in for good measure, True Romance is the hard-hitting love child of director Tony Scott and writer Quentin Tarantino. Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette star as two newlyweds who do very normal couple things like murdering pimps and stealing cocaine from crime families. The film ends with Slater's character Clarence getting wounded in a shootout between cops and mobsters. Arquette Alabama manages to save her hubby though and the two flee to Mexico to start a new life. This is nice and all, but it isn't very Tarantino. The film was supposed to end with Clarence dying in the gunfights, leaving Alabama to soldier on alone. Yes, it's bleaker, but it's way more in keeping with the film's dark themes. True Romance is set in a world of gangsters, brothels, and hard drugs. Whilst the theatrical ending shows that love can blossom in an environment such as this, the original one is more true to life and would have provided an emotional gut punch of a conclusion. But you know, a happy ending is good too, I suppose. Number 9. Deirdre is Kidnapped. Ronin. Set in Paris and featuring characters from the USA, the UK, Ireland, Russia and Germany, 2001's Ronan is a truly international espionage affair. Robert De Niro stars as Sam, an ex-CIA operative who becomes embroiled in the hunt for a mysterious briefcase that everybody wants to get their hands on. Along the way, he becomes friends with a French marksman named Vincent and Deirdre, a member of the IRA. With friends like that, who needs enemies? The ending of the film shows Sam, who has fallen for Deirdre, waiting for her at the same bistro in which they first met. The Irish woman doesn't show up and the movie ends on a bit of a downer as Sam is left alone. Deirdre's absence was almost explained in a deleted ending which would have seen her arrive at the bistro only to turn and walk away. She would then get kidnapped and bundled into a van leaving her fate unknown. This ambiguous ending would have fit really well with the twisty narrative of Ronin, however test audiences balked at the idea of Deirdre getting killed so this was cut. Again, what a bunch of snaps. Number 8. Russian Roulette – Die Hard with a Vengeance 1995's Die Hard with a Vengeance was the perfect full circle ending for Bruce Willis's John McClane. Not only did it see him confront Simon, the brother of original villain Hans Gruber, but he also got to team up with Samuel L. Mother Effing Jackson. Who could ask for a better finale than that? The film's actual climax is pretty straightforward. McClane kills Gruber and lives happily ever after. Hooray! However, in an unused ending to the movie, things weren't quite so simple for the cop turned action hero. Gruber was initially set to escape McClane's clutches, only for NYPD's finest to track him down in the film's final scene. McLean would then force the baddie to play Russian Roulette, which would not end well for Jeremy Irons' character. Another darker ending, but one that would have been a welcome break from the action movie cliches of the rest of the film. Unfortunately, when the two finales ended up playing Russian Roulette, this one ended up losing. Number 7. King of the Monsters – Kong Skull Island You'll enjoy 2014's Kong Skull Island if you like big apes smashing things to pieces. And if you don't, well, maybe skip this one because that's pretty much what the entire film is. After the main action is over, we get treated to a little teaser of the next step in this proposed cinematic universe. Characters Conrad and Weaver are shown cave paintings of other monsters, proving that Kong is not the only giant beastie they have to worry about. One of the creatures on the wall is a big lizard firing an energy beam from its mouth. I wonder who that could be. Fans nearly got a much clearer view of the King of monsters in an ending that never saw the light of day. In this version, Conrad and Weaver get taken to the Arctic Circle and the film would have ended with the real Godzilla rising from the water in spectacular fashion. If you like subtlety, then the actual ending is for you, but then again, it's not exactly within Godzilla's wheelhouse to be subtle, so in a way, this original ending is much more appropriate. Also, super cool. Number 6. Reuniting in the Afterlife 1408 Movies make it really hard to listen to reason in real life. Skeptics in films are always the one who suffer the most when it turns out that the thing they don't believe in isn't just real, but deadly. Exhibit A, this Stephen King adaptation from 2007. John Cusack stars in 1408 as Mike, a writer investigating paranormal goings on in a hotel. He rents the titular room, which is allegedly haunted with the aim of disproving the ghostly rumours that surround it. Well, guess what, Mike? You're wrong. Very, very, very wrong. 
After suffering horrendous mental torture at the hands of the room itself, Mike finally does what should have been done a long time ago and burns 1408 to the ground. Why did nobody think of this before? Mike survives the blaze in the final cut, but not in an alternative ending. The fire claims him in this one, but does reunite him with his dead daughter in a strangely touching turn of events. This ending is much more complex than the one we got, as the room was destroyed, but managed to claim one final victim in its death throes. Number 5. Rogue Keeps Her Powers – X-Men The Last Stand X-Men The Last Stand is still a sore spot amongst comic book movie fans and it came out all the way back in 2006. A major point of contention surrounds the character of Rogue, the mutant whose energy draining powers mean that she cannot touch anyone. This complicates things with her boyfriend Iceman for reasons we are not going to get into. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. Rogue's main dilemma is whether or not to take the newly devised cure for mutation, which would grant her the power of physical touch in exchange for her unique abilities. In the end, she takes the cure. This ending was seen as extremely damaging to Rogue's character, who essentially chose a boy over having superpowers. What's even more upsetting is that another version of events exists where Rogue made a much more inspiring decision. In this ending, the mutant decides not to take the cure and returns to the X-Men mansion with her powers fully intact. This makes a much more powerful statement about staying true to who you are and not changing that for anyone. Still, Iceman do be kind of cute though, so I can sort of see where she was coming from. Number 4. Zod Lives, Man of Steel the biggest criticism often levelled at Superman is that he's boring, that his good guy persona often comes across as preachy more than anything else. That's what makes him so exciting though, because when he does break his moral code, it really means something. Unfortunately, the makers of 2013's Man of Steel missed this point entirely. After an epic battle with fellow Kryptonian Zod, Supes kills his enemy in brutal fashion, snapping his alien neck like a twig. You could argue that the hero had no choice as Zod was threatening to murder an innocent family, however, just hear this pitch out. Another end to Man of Steel would have seen Superman spare Zod's life, instead returning him to the Phantom Zone. What if Clark Kent wasn't forced to kill at this point in time, instead saving that moment for much later? Number 3. A Sympathetic Villain – I Am Legend one of the most famous alternative endings in modern cinema history, this crescendo would have radically changed the way audiences thought about 2007's I Am Legend. It would have started with Dr. Robert Neville pinned down by a group of dark seekers, just like in the theatrical cut. However, instead of killing himself to allow Anna and Ethan to escape, this version of events would have taken a much more complicated turn. See, Neville had recently developed a cure for the infection that turned humanity into a bunch of angry zombie boys in the first place. He tested this cure on a female dark seeker, one with a very prominent but Butterfly tattoo. During the ending melee, the alpha male Darkseeker of the pack chasing Neville smashes the glass separating the two. This forms a pattern, a butterfly, and the Doc finally puts two and two together. The alpha isn't trying to kill Neville, he just wants his mate back. This completely changes Neville's understanding of the creatures, whom he previously believed to be unfeeling husks of humanity. A much more thought-provoking ending to be sure, but this one wouldn't have featured a giant explosion, so you win some, you lose some. Number 2. Humanity is Doomed – The Birds Alfred Hitchcock's masterful avian thriller The Birds from 1963 will make you think twice the next time you go out to feed the pigeons. The premise of this movie is simple – birds start attacking people, seemingly at random, forcing human beings to take shelter from their aerial assailants. The movie already has an iconic ending, which sees the central Brenner family tentatively escape as dozens of birds silently watch them. However, this already impressive visual could have been even better. Hitchcock wanted his masterpiece to end with a long shot of San Francisco's famous Golden Gate Bridge covered in birds. Not only would this have been something to see, but it would have been the perfect statement ending to the movie. Humanity is out, and the birds have taken over. Quite how Big Alf planned to do this is uncertain, considering most of the feather themes used in this movie were real. Was he going to cover the bridge in breadcrumbs? Surely we don't think he'd have gotten away with that. Number 1. The Beginning of the End – The Terminator the major revelation of 1984's The Terminator, aside from the fact that Arnie looks incredible in the buff, is that Kyle Reese, the man sent back in time to protect future human leader John Connor, is actually Connor's father. Basically, he does the nasty in the pasty with Connor's mum Sarah. This moment was almost mirrored in an ending that would have revealed the true origins of the entire series' main antagonist. After Sarah and Kyle defeat the Terminator, a cleanup operation begins at the factory where the final battle went down. However, a group of men in suits hide the machine's remains from the police. It is later revealed that these men work for Cyberdyne Systems, the company behind Skynet and the Terminators in the future. And if you think about it, that would have been perfect. Not only did this movie's events result in the birth of John Connor, but also in the creation of his greatest foe. It would have tied everything up in a nice little bow, rounding out the series' continuity perfectly. 
And that's the list. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Which of these movie endings would you prefer the most over the original? And of course, let us know of any others that we didn't include. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've been Cypher Watt Culture, and have a good week.